We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's to the 40. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Fights forward to about the 43. The halfback picks up a yard. That brings us second and nine. Let's go! Easy, easy, easy! Black still, black still! Number six. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll make it 35. He scrambles. Tackle made at the 49. He must not have seen anybody open on that play. Nobody open downfield, but he's got to be careful. I like his toughness, but those kind of hits are going to take a toll on him eventually. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Knocked out of bounds at the 41. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Around the 33-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. He's scrambling. And he's tackled at the 19. Now he tries to buy some time. He's tackled at the 18. It's the 11th play of the drive. Up the middle for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. Touchdown, Oregon! And he converts the extra point. It was a 12-play, 74-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running runs. So the score now, 7-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Terrapins offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. He gets rid of this one. From their own 28-yard line. Third down. And 
he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Booming kick. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out in the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. That makes it first and ten. Oregon is up seven. He's on the run, and he's taken down around the 44-yard line. That's good for a five yards. That brings him second and five. 47 yards, 47 yards. Right, 47. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Buffalo, Buffalo, 86. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He gets hit out of bounds around the 48-yard line. the 49-yard line. Super job here by the defense of filling the gaps on the line. If you keep stringing out plays like that, you can really shut an option attack down. From their own 49-yard line, second down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Let's go! He's into the open field. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Stop around the 29 yard line. Loss is two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down and 12. Ball on the 29. Focus, defense, focus. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Ready! Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. Inside the 10. And a big touchdown from the tight end. I'll tell you, this tight end is a big-time football player. He might like to talk a little bit out there on the field, but he has the type of game to back it up. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown, well, they've got to regroup. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Oregon's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue. They need to show a little giddy-up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Scrambling around. Tackle at the 25. there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 
nine yard line. The Ducks really could have uh, overlooked this team today, I think, very easily, but they haven't done that so far. No, you can't take anybody too lightly, and they've obviously not done that. They come out of the gate today and really putting a lot of points up on the board. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. Just taken down at the 47. As we expected coming into this game, this one appears to be under control. Oregon's lead is two touchdowns. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Defense was playing the run all the way, and they got it right. Nice work. That brings up fourth and three. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. Quick throw, almost intercepted. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's on the run. Makes it to the 31. That makes it first and 10. Tackle made at the 27. That's a game of four. That makes it second and six. And down he goes at about the 19 yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. First down. He's going to try and scramble, and they got him. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out of practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing defensive events. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. for the offense. 14-3, Oregon. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Tackled at the 39. He 
He scrambles. Runs it, and nobody's near him. He's tackling at the 33. He showed his athletic ability on that one. There you see the thing we've been talking about all week, which is the athleticism, the ability to improvise, and the big play capability all in one play. What a spectacular run. Catches it, and that's all. About a five-yard pickup of the old play-action pass. The defense wasn't fooled too much by the play action, but it gave the quarterback just enough of a cushion to find his receiver. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That is a loss of five on the play. That brings up Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Let's go. Let's go. 395. 395. Going right to his tailback. They'll knock him down for a loss. For a loss. That makes it fourth and 12. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and he got it! They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on last drive. He's wrapped up for the sack. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. From their own 16 yard line, third down. And he's tackled that positive yardage. The defense punches them off the field after just three plays. That was a short round, Brad. Nothing seems to be working right now. He really got a hold of that one. He's to the 40. He's taken down at the 42. Oregon's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. And Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. Caught and up for the first down. And he is drilled at the 45. No game. That makes it second and ten. Let's go, let's go. And we got Mike. Handoff up the middle. Nice run there. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he splits the uprights. Oregon kicks this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a time. It's been an impressive game by this defensive lineman. Well, he's just one of those defensive players that if you're an offensive coordinator, you're basically building your game plan around his skills. 
To me, this is just a classic example of just being bigger, faster, and stronger than the guy trying to block you. I don't care if this offensive line uses two or even three guys to stop him. There's nothing they can do to stop this individual performance that he's putting on this play today. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And he's taken down around the one yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Good coverage by the defense, but they have to be aware of this quarterback's tendency to scramble around and pick up yards. Caught and out of bounds after a short game. First down. Now he tries to buy some time, and he tackles him hard at the 40. Defense coming, and the ball comes out, and the offense will recover. Third and 12, ball on the 35-yard line. Fires quickly, and he's got his man brought down at the 49-yard line. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. Drive by the needle, but it's not a work. Well, we've played a half of football. The Ducks lead it by 17. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio break down everything that just happened in your game. Coaches get big contracts for winning championships. But you know, I think maybe they really earned their money in a game like this. When you see a team perform like this, big no doubt, and look like uh, look like that they're playing to the level that they're capable of playing. Yeah, and, and a lot of times, these are the games that cost you championships. If you don't take care of them, sometimes you come out flat, you see the big upset down the road, you're comparing losses, and, and you're out of the mix because you lost to a team that you should have absolutely annihilated. So definitely kudos to the coaching staff for keeping everybody stepping in unison, keeping everybody on the same page, keeping everybody motivated. It's not easy. These are still 18, 19, 20-year-old kids that sometimes lose focus. Believe it or not, there are girls in class and other things for them, for them to focus on. So great job by the coaching staff getting their boys ready to play. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some Asher turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. Oregon's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for the second That'll bring up second and two. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. From their own 29-yard line, 
It's third down. He gets rid of this one. The defense gets some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he's tackled at the 34. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Mike. Pitches, and he's got room. Makes it out to about the 49. it to the 34. Just don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Ready! to still have a shot at points. That wasn't one of the prettiest passes I've ever seen. He's got to be relieved it wasn't picked. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Kicks up, and he just drilled it from long range. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. The Terrapins are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for you. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle to the 38-yard line. First down. Now he's scrambling. They'll make the sack. I mean, this is almost getting ridiculous. That is sack number eight. This guy's going to have to spend a half an hour in the ice tub after this game. It's just shot after shot all day long. Where's the offensive line? So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. He's going to try and scramble. And they get the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. a bullet over the middle and that one's fallen incomplete he was a little erratic on that pass but there's no denying that he can really hum it in there
get this one off. It's a beauty. And he's taken down at the 23. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Scrambled. He decides to run with it. Good game there on the quarterback. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. And he carries the ball for a nice game. completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down. Right thirty. Throws it away. From the 30 yard line. Second down. They're going to need some therapy after this. Ready! Check, check! Patriot, Patriot! Throw complete, and he's got space to work. They'll bring him down at about the nine yard line. out to about the six yard line. He's scrambling. And down he goes, right around the two yard line. Gaining four yards. That makes us third and goal. Tackle made at the one-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up fourth and goal. The offense is staying on the field. It's all or nothing. Here we go. I'm gonna run you over. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike number 53. Touchdown. So they run the option to perfection for the score. It's a great job by the quarterback to read the defense. He made a nice pitch to the running back, and let him go in for six. He makes the PAT. So a 10-play, 77-yard drive, and the result, seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. For Oregon, they've been bringing the heat, and they've gotten to them on several occasions. Great job by the defense tonight, getting into the backfield and creating issues for this line. They also have that one takeaway. This offense's best bet seems to be to keep the ball on the ground. And that's always been a very positive thing. It'll keep the defense honest, and they won't be able to just play the pass. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. He's hit and taken down. Fires out to his wideout. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. Watch the run, watch the run. 
First down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we don't like this 48 right now. Let's go. Hey, hey, 48. Yeah, 48. And he's tackled at the 38. And we reach the end of three, and this game is all but decided. Oregon's running away with it. Not sure that for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I are praying. Throws a laser across the middle, and they make the stop at the 35-yard line. He's on the run, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Finds a man, touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. And he converts the extra point. Taken down at the 44-yard line. The Ducks have been about as impressive as you can be in a football game. Uh, this is as good as it gets. The defense is playing great. The offense has done their job. We've got a blowout here. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And now we've got room to run. He makes his way out to about the 35. this guy is he can throw the ball, he can run it, and that's hard to stop. And he's taken down just outside the goal line. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Oregon is lining up to kick this one off. He got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. Scrambling. And 
he's level at the four. That's a team of the team. First down. Less than three minutes in the game. He's in trouble. He airs it out. It's caught. The 10. He'll take it all away for the touchdown. These poor guys in the secondary look like they're still trying to catch up with him. He's gone in a heartbeat. And he tacks on the extra point. A short two-play, 7-5 drive and it results in a touchdown you know you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success these guys kind of be coming over the sidelines after touchdown after touchdown saying man i, I didn't expect it to be this easy you know i've been so caught up in these offensive players the quarterback and the receivers and what's happening on the field i gotta step back for a second and remind all of us what the job the offensive coordinator has done preparing his team and calling the right plays to give them such a chance to play well so it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Brought down around the 26-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. Gives it left side. Gets out to around the 18. Ten. And he hits him hard at the three yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Couple of yards on the carry. That's good for a gain of two yards. That brings him second and goal. Touchdown, Oregon! Keeper just keep it moving for Kirk and I, will you? We want to get out of here. He hits the PAT. A five play, four drive, and they get it in for seven. And Brad, right now, the offensive line is winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home, and Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservations. Ready! Red 18! Quick throw. And it's intercepted! Boy, it's just one of those days for this offense. Already getting blown out. Now another interception. Can you imagine that walk over to the sideline for these guys? We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 49. Two down, two down. Check on the line. Nice run there. Game is six on the ball. That'll make it second and four. Run out, ready. Let's go, let's go. Under a minute left in the game. It and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Makes it to the 34.
This one was never today. Oregon, 44, Maryland, 17. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.